If I look at the flow chart, we're on the payable side of things now. So the vendor cycle, you might call it. This is the desktop flow chart, but we're just looking at a flow chart for the purpose of the flow of the operations. We expect money to be going out at the end of the vendor cycle for goods and services we're gonna purchase for use in revenue generation in the company. So there's a couple ways we can do that. The easiest way and the way oftentimes used by many small businesses is that we just pay the bills as they become due. And remember that term bill is particularly a little bit confusing because the bill that we receive from like a telephone company, for example, might say invoice on it because to them on their side of the table, if they were using QuickBooks, it would be an invoice. To us, we usually call it a bill. We might say they invoiced us. We could say that too. They billed us in common language, but for, for QuickBooks, if we got the physical bill or invoice, we can then have enter it into the system as a bill, but we don't necessarily have to do that. We can just pay the bill off as we receive it with a check form or an expense form. Now, the easiest way to do that is to set up the bank feeds, for example. And if you have electronic transfers, which is more and more common these days, you can wait till it clears the bank and just pay it off with the uh, expense form using the bank feeds. In other words, you're going to rely on the bank, given the fact that it doesn't take that long for the check to clear. And so that usually works pretty good for small businesses. Uh, as the business grows, it's more and more likely that you might want to enter the bills into the system as opposed to just paying them when they become due, because you might, it, it becomes more and more important to to have a time value of money or management strategy. In other words, if you pay your bill right when they say that you can pay it and you set up your electronic payment, then uh, you might pay it like 15 days early. If it's only $100, not a big deal. But if it was thousands of dollars and you, and you had um, um, like tens of thousands of transactions, then it becomes a big deal to, to pay it 10 days later if you can or take advantage of a 1% cash discount or something like that. And that's when you get full departments that are managing the accounts payable. So again, many small businesses will set up electronic transfers and pay off the bills as they become due either with a check form or an expense form through the bank feeds, or they might use a credit card form that they're going to be paying off, which will do a similar process, except it's going to be increasing a liability. Uh, or you might actually write a physical check. Now, if you write a physical check, you typically don't want to have it wait till it clears the bank to record it because you want to track the undeposited uh, amount, the, the unclear transaction. And so if someone calls you and asks you a question about it, you can say, yeah, well, I wrote the check. It's out there. It hasn't cleared yet or it has cleared. So, so you, you can't just depend on the bank then. And then the full accrual system would be entering the bill into the system. We enter the bill increase in accounts payable and then we pay the bill with the with the pay bill form which is in essence a kind of check form the check form being the form that decreases the checking account